Now, when you guys are looking at adding and subtracting fractions, um, the main important thing, if you guys remember, when we were dealing with fractions, was when we're adding and adding and subtracting fractions with unlike denominators, we have to get common denominator. So the first thing we have to do is what we determine is called determine the LCD. Find the common denominator of 5 and 6. And what that means is the smallest number that 5 and 6 divide into. Okay. So does anybody want to raise their hand and see what the LCD of 5 and 6 is? Ooh, ooh, ooh. 30, very good. So if it's 30, what we want to do is we want to be able to multiply. Brandon, what are you doing? OK. What we want to do is be able to multiply our denominators so they're both going to be 30. So on the left side, I'm going to have to multiply by 6. On the right side, I'm going to have to multiply by 5. All right. But please be careful, ladies and gentlemen. When we are multiplying a fraction, if I just multiply the denominator, I'm going to change the value of the fraction. So I have to make sure I multiply the denominator and the numerator by the same value. That's going to produce equivalent fractions. So therefore, now I have 18 over 30 plus 10 over 30. Everybody follow me? OK. So now I can simply just add them up. 28 over 30. 